Hey, hey, hey! This is Kurt the Boat Doctor down here in uh, 17 Sea Chaser 2021. Beautiful, I call it the mini tug. These suckers will go through anything. They're amazing, very stable. They got a nice V and look at that nice reverse hook they got down underneath there that keeps the boat stable. Got kind of like a pre-flexed uh, fiberglass hole. Keeps that water shooting down. <clears throat> got the winch. Got the Fulton uh, tongue jack. Got, got the swing tongue. Make sure the wires are tucked in when you do use that. When you unswing it, swing it back so you don't pinch the wires. Flat four on the trailer wires. You got a standard two inch ball, standard flip latch. Put a padlock through that when you're parked so they don't steal your trailer. I put a pin and a lock through your uh, receiver. And that's my adapter. So you may need to get one of those. If you don't have one, you don't need the spring. You can do the standard little plug that goes in. It converts it, cross your safety chains. Got a derrick, rails, wiper, top, sides, bag drop. You got your gear bath oil hubs, brown good, white bad, five lug, 80 pound torque, Power King tires, or ST205 75R14s. Uh, got leaf, uh, not leaf, but uh, torsion axle, which is good. Less things to rust on you. Galvanized easy loader trailer. Got load guides. Got a kicker bracket. And these are on there, man. You ain't getting those off. You got drain plug. I used mine. His is taped to the steering wheel. Got a 13 by 17 aluminum prop. Got a 115 Yamaha. Total salt water protected. You got a stainless prop shaft, drive shaft. It's got zinc on every cylinder, which this is an inline four. You got a zinc on the block. You got a zinc on the torque pin. I've had a lot of people ask about these, if they need to be turned or not. Nowadays, with like hydraulic steer and the boat holes, you really don't need those. But if the boat does pull really hard when you take your hand off the wheel, then you turn it the same way the boat's pulling. And you can tell it's a nice wide bottom cable steer. There's a 2021. Cleats, crab davit, and your VHF is only as good as your antenna. As it looks like a big base, reads a whole eight feet. The thicker they are, the better. You can you rather spend the money on the antenna than the radio because if you have a $800 radio and you got a $50 antenna, you got a $50 radio. You can buy a $100 VHF and get a good antenna, and you got an $800 VHF. That's the way she rolls, man. Gear bath oil brown, load guides again. They got the drop cloth, nice, nice uh, tie downs too. They're real soft. And you got right in here, you just got like a little bait box. It says wet, whatever wet means. I'm gonna put these in here and put this thing down here. And then you just shut this and lock it. And this is like a little table, fillet table. You want this down until you use it, then you can flip it back. And you got a built-in fuel tank back in there. And your batteries are probably right up into here. Boink! There's one right there. Lift up. Make sure it slides in. And we'll check the gas fills here. I put in 15 gallons of non-ethanol. Lift up here again. Yeah, it's got single battery. Drop that back down in there again. Got fish box right here. Mm -hmm. Take this and put this here. Then I'm gonna zip this up. Ah, king queen seats. They're nice. Then that lifts up. Story. Got these nice fish on with the armrests. Another fish box, grab handle. Got the Lawrence Elite. They kind of hid your tack a tad bit. I guess you could have put it on a ram mount. Then you got a standard Verizon VHF. Got horn works. And nav lights work. Filter pump works. Wiper works. And we'll check that. Fuel gauge. Do -do 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 -do. And I'll set all this up for you. Little window. Oh, this is a nice little boat. In here, oh, little cuddy. Oh, oh, nice. Yeah, these are nice little boats. 
anyway 17 uh, chaser arima 115 they turn 6300 can't wait to get her in the water boat doctor out